the labor solutions and this is one of the vendors who make it possible for slap your daddy to deliver my products to you because they make all my labels so looking forward to meeting my business partners here getting a tour of the plant and learning all about label making My name is Amanda Thompson. I'm, I'm the marketing manager for Label Solutions and we make labels for customers across the country. We have products from that go on lawnmowers to compressed gas tanks, mm -hmm. uh, food products, nutraceuticals is a big part of our, our company as well. This is kind of part of areas where we uh, store some of our um, labels that they are on a pull from stock. So Harry, you're part of this program where mm -hmm. uh, we keep some of your labels here on the shelf and so mm -hmm. when you're uh, co-packer is ready to bottle. He can call us, mm -hmm. we can ship them out and they go out that same day. Not only do we uh, ship out to almost every state in the country, but we also go up into Canada and also Central America. So definitely not uh, isolated to just uh, the United States. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about our distribution channels, contact us at Label Solutions. Ask for Amanda Thompson. I'm the customer service manager and also marketing manager as well. The next step in the process is gonna be uh, die cutting and uh, if your labels require lamb or varnish or any of the top coating, this is where it's done. Um, we use an ABG machine uh, brand, so yeah. this is where it is. This is the final stage and step that labels uh, will run into. This is a rewinder. And what's really interesting about this is the uh, piece of equipment here on the top, the tube scan, is actually a vision system. So it's taking a picture as these move, move through the tube scan and isolating uh, any uh, errors or mistakes or any ink drops or anything like that and it will notify the end user that there would be a flaw in the labels. The journey starts probably with label development and working up the quotes, working up the proof. Um, if you're coming in with camera ready artwork or if you're needing it to be designed we can take care of both of those. Jeff's team with his graphic designers can definitely create the label design for you. Um, so it really starts with label development and then working with our customer service team, making sure that we've got the quantities that you're needing, um, your order, letting you know lead time, all that. Then it goes through um, making sure we've got material. Um, that's why it's really important to work with your label provider, no matter who, who you're working with, and forecasting so that, especially during these times right now, you have material in-house to be used when you're ready. So we work really closely with our customers and making sure that we have adequate material in-house. In That's why the warehouse is full of uh, rolls. That way we're ready when you are. Uh, once it goes to that, it goes to graphics, uh, making sure pre-press is ready, your files are ready, and it gets pushed to the presses. Um, the press prints it. Once it gets done printing, it hits our ABGs to be uh, top-coated or lambed uh, and then die-cut. It's then uh, taken over to our rewinders where it's gone, uh, broken out into individual rolls, uh, end user ready rolls, and then shipping uh, takes care of it from there and gets it to your door. I'm Tom Clark with Ozark Mountain Packaging. We make Harry's barbecue sauce, like your daddy. Process starts back here in this room. Uh, we get all the ingredients weighed up. Okay. Um, get them blended, put them into the kettle, um, cook it. Once we get it cooked, we get our do our scientific readings. We get our, our bricks and our pH and our consistency. Make sure that uh, Harry's got the sauce just the way he wants it. Uh, once all that's signed off on, we uh, we do a taste test with the last batch to make sure it tastes the same. Um, then we send it off to production. It goes down the line. 100 gallon kettle. 100 gallon kettle. So yep. folks, if you've never seen a 100 gallon kettle, there's one, there's two, and there's a big kahuna there. That's a 250 gallon. 250 gallon kettle here. This is uh, 80 gallons of your uh, hot. Okay, 80 gallons of hot burn. This is the one that everybody likes. It's got a nice uh, heat, right? Heat and a uh, little burn. <laughs> oh, yeah. And lots of flavor. And uh, this is a uh, batch that's ready to go. Yep, it's ready to go. As soon as I finish this, uh, let's switch over to this kettle here. Right, the pump, pump through, goes through a metal detector to make sure that uh -huh. there's no foreign materials, um, sharp metal objects in there. Comes sure. through there, goes up into the hopper. Hopper. 
Those two bottles. Uh huh. Okay. Does that have the cap? The label's coming through. Yeah. Cool. So that's Jiggy Sweet. Yep. And it's a fold over on the other side. So yep. it, fold over so it goes okay. into the blank area. Yeah. So hopefully that will help the, uh, you know, adhesive stick. Yep. So these are hot fills, so they are actually warm off the line. Yeah. Okay, so it's really hot off the line. This is about 100 degrees. Uh, that's probably uh, 160 to 170. 160 degree hot. So it's so a hot fill. Between 165 and 180 is what okay. we fill you at. And these bottles have the special accordion pleat so that they can kind of expand, right? Yep. Okay. So you can see those. Yeah. So they come in here. Hot is ready and uh, Tom is going to let me sample it. Straight from the kettle, give it a little whir here. So 100 gallons of hot burn. <laughs> Flavor, burn, numb, fade, right? <laughs> it's uh, the only sauce out there with four, four, like four experiences yeah. in one taste. So, very good. Yeah.